Welcome, Mr. Lefebvre Dovidio, Chairman of Silver Sea Cruises and Chairman of the Cruise Lines International Association Europe. Thank you for taking the time to do this interview about developments and trends in the cruise industry. Mr. Lefebvre Dovidio, how important is the cruise industry in terms of economic impact? The cruise in industry has a very important economic impact in the European economy. Not only for the shipbuilding uh, industry, which is 100% almost of the uh, cruise ship supply, but also for the impact of uh, inbound uh, passengers from the rest of the world and for the European who choose to take a cruise within Europe, which is, of course, is uh, uh, and also a kind of import, let's say, of uh, export. And uh, for what concerns the new passengers from the rest of the world, there's a huge potential because if you just think that uh, the entire Asia with three and a half billion people has 600,000 passengers and Australia with 15 million people has 600,000 passengers, that tells you the big growth potential. In the United States, three and a half percent of the population takes a cruise. In Europe, only one and a half percent. There's a two percent growth potential. And you add to that Asia. And on top of that, the U.S. economy is foreseen to have a very strong growth and uh, Americans choose Europe as a destination. How will the demand in the cruise industry develop medium to long term? And I, I partially responded to that, but I mean the cruise demand will grow very strongly because of the growth of the U.S. economy due to this uh, developments of the U.S. economy. And on top of that, you have the Asian market as an emerging market. Also other markets are emerging. Uh, South America is going very fast. Uh, in, the, uh, in the luxury segment, Brazil is growing by 25% a year. And of course, there is the great future of Africa, which is also something we should not, uh, uh, not look at. Will the customer demand for cruises grow slower than the supply? And will the prices therefore further decrease? The, first of all, uh, cruise lines have been very careful to control uh, uh, supply of uh, vessels in order not to uh, over um, expanded uh, offer, but in general, there's been a match between growth of uh, uh, demand for cruise product and uh, growth of offer. And uh, there are these potentials of growth, which is very big. And you know, a cruise ship takes three, three years to be built. So the demand grows faster than that. Mr. Lefebvre do video, will the trend to bigger cruise ships continue or will there be a return to smaller ships? They're both growing very fast because uh, the, uh, the consumer is being very polarized. You have uh, the family business, uh, the family consumer, the uh, less affluent people who are uh, understanding the huge potential of the cruise industry, both to have a very pleasant vacation and cost control. And then you have the affluent who learn how to use the cruise industry and the cruises to visit more places in a very convenient way. So they're both growing in a city way. There's a big market for both. Mr. Lefebvre de Video, how will the cruise trips be sold in the future? Are direct sales through internet becoming more important? The internet is very important because it integrates the offer supplied by the travel agents. The travel agent is the bulk of the industry. They deal with the, the, the mass of the uh, consumers. But there is a part of the consumers who go through different channels. And that is where we need the internet to capture those passengers do, that do not go to travel agents, but to like to shop through the internet. Thank you very much for the interview, Mr. Lefebvre do video. We are very much looking forward to welcome you at ITB in Berlin, which happens to take place the 10th time this year. Well, I want to congratulate and I look forward to be there at the 20th anniversary, if God helps me.